Muffet has been on board. On waters far calmer than those to which is accustomed, the Royal Mail ship St. Helena, travelling to the UK for the final time. It's not quite the South Atlantic, is it? What does it feel like to be sailing along the River Thames? It's uh, really strange to be coming up a river um, and into the middle of, the, of London. It's uh, very special. For the past 26 years, RMS St. Helena has been the only means of accessing the remote South Atlantic island that shares her name. Well, it's the lifeline. The whole island life on St. Helena revolves around the RMS. And anything that you can think of, this ship carries to St. Helena, from the generators that are in the power station to the cranes that lift the cargo off the barges. A new airport means her role will soon become redundant. She's due to be decommissioned in September. It was to be earlier, but problems with the airport have temporarily extended her service. She won't, however, return to the UK. It's going to be very sad for the RMS to come to an end. I think life will change. Um, you know, we'll be open up to more international tours. It might take a little while for people to adapt to the changes. The designation RMS, or Royal Mail Ship, has been used since the mid-1800s. As well as cargo and passengers, these ships also carried mail. It was seen as a mark of reliability because the mail had to arrive on time. It is, though, tragically ironic that the most famous was the RMS Titanic. The growth of airmail and email means RMS St Helena is, for a short while longer, the only working Royal Mail ship. Tower Bridge lifting especially for you. What a moment. Yes, it is, yeah, a fantastic moment, yeah, and a piece of history. Yeah, yeah it's very emotional now. This is a fitting tribute to a ship that has served the community of St. Helena in such a sterling fashion for the past 26 years. She has been the lifeline to our island. She's part of the wider St. Helena family. We're proud of her and I'm proud of all of the crew on board. One final sack of Royal Mail will now be loaded on board, as well as letters from 50 school pupils in Cardiff addressed to their pen pals in St. Helena. And then the final voyage from the UK to the South Atlantic. She'll be moored alongside HMS Belfast until Tuesday before setting off. Disappearing with her will be one small piece of British maritime history. Tim Muffet, BBC News. Shall we have a last uh, brief look at the headlines wherever you are this morning? We'll be talking about fashion, dress sense, what should work in the work, where in the workplace.